Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, what I've done here is I've uh, done a redesign of my Betty Paintball Time Bomb prop, and I've I've essentially revamped it so that it is uh, this unit is specific for indoor escape rooms. So uh, I disarm the bomb escape room. Uh, I designed the electronics, you make it your own, as always. Uh, let, me, let me tell you what comes with this set, and then we'll get on with some demonstrations. Uh, the uh, Betty module comes fully assembled and tested with a siren, countdown timer, processor board, keypad, stereo to stereo connector, optional speaker, two keys for the power module, uh, and an AC, AC to DC wall adapter that you can use to apply power. That's not seen here, but it does come with uh, an AC adapter, AC to DC adapter. Now, uh, some of the functions, um, if the bomb is not disarmed, the siren goes off. You can program in any, any time between one second and 99 minutes and 59 seconds, so essentially an hour and a half. Just one second under an hour and a half. The speaker you can use if you want, but it comes with the stereo to stereo connector so that you can plug the audio output into your own um, audio amplifier and speakers, say a Bose player, and the unit talks to you. The keypad has 16 digits, so let's get on with a couple demonstrations. So what I've done is I have connected, I've disconnected the speaker so I can get a higher level of volume, I've connected my audio output through the included stereo to stereo connector, and I've connected to my computer speakers. You don't have to use your computer speakers, you can use your Bose player, your boom box, whatever you, you know, whatever you have available. Um, sirens connected to the uh, siren output, and I'm using my benchtop power supply to apply 9 volts DC to the power connector. Now, uh, I will be providing in the listing instructions how to use your a included AC to DC adapter to plug into the wall and how to connect to the power terminal block. But my benchtop power supply is much easier to use uh, in this video as an example. So I'm going to power it up by turning the key. And what happens when you power it up? The timer turns on and the green LED turns on. So in order to start the game, I have to press 1. Program wire. Program wire. Now, let's talk about quickly about the, the, uh, the wire outputs. You see all these scraggly wires in the back? Those are your wire cut outputs. Uh, wire 1 on the left is, is brown. Wire 2 is uh, white. Wire 3 is black. And wire 4 is red. And those are all connected to the four pins on the other side, which are all common. Uh, you'll actually see on the board, I know you can't see it from here, but the, the, these uh, outputs are labeled W1, W2, W3, W4, and then the last four pins are COM for common. And uh, so uh, if I want to pluck wire one, I'd simply just pull it because they are female to female wire connectors. You can literally plug them in and unplug them. If you want, you can also cut them. The bed unit comes with a lot of extra wires so that you can choose to cut them or pluck them. Alternately, especially if you're making an escape room uh, prop, if you're using this as an escape room prop, which is what I've essentially designed it for, I can teach you how to wire these wires out to your own custom panel. So you can make a really neat panel for a wire cut mode, something that's a little bit more spiffy than just these scraggly wires. Uh, anyway, back to it. So program wire. I have five options here. I can program in wire 1, wire 2, wire 3, wire 4, or I can disable wire, wire cut mode completely. If I press star, wire cut mode has no effect during this specific game. But if I want to choose the deactivation wire to be wire 3, I'll simply press 3. Ready clock. Ready clock. So in this case, I have to program in the timer. In order to increment any digit, I tap the button. If I want to move on to the next digit, I press the button and hold it and let go. Increment, move to the next digit, move to the next digit, press and hold again. So I've programmed the clock. And at this point, I can press that button one more time for the timer to um, elapse, which I'll actually do, and then I'll press one to start the game. System ready. Enter combination. Now I don't know how well the camera's picking up the uh, the timer. It looks fantastic to the human eye. The camera uh, might have a little bit of a problem picking it up, but I promise you, it looks fantastic. Nice blue display. 
Now there's also something else that I'm going to show in the next demonstration, and that is the uh, vibration function. If you shake this, um, and you have the vibration uh, function enabled with this jumper, the countdown timer will start going down 10 times as fast. If I cut the wrong wire, the countdown timer will start going down 10 times as fast. If I put in the wrong combination, the timer goes down 10 times as fast. So if I cut the wrong wire, wire cut mode is out. You can't use it anymore. The only way to deactivate it is to enter in the proper combination. So just for the sake of making this first demonstration simple, I'm going to enter in the default combination of star number 11. System deactivated. And then we are back at square one. Timer's on, LED is on. So I'm going to stop and we're going to go through a different demonstration. In this demonstration, I'm going to use the wire cut mode. And I'm going to actually, uh, I'm only going to show you how to deactivate it with wire cut mode. I'm not going to show you how it, uh, if you cut the wrong wire, uh, it starts counting down 10 times as fast because uh, you'll see that in many other demonstrations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the game. Program wire. Program wire. Let's just say wire one. Ready clock. Ready clock. Let's just do 10 minutes. System ready. Enter combination. So if I cut, if I pull wire one, which is brown. System deactivated. Now you'll notice that uh, it's reset, but now the red wire, the red LED is on. Why is the red LED on? Because not all of my wires are connected. So what I have to do, and pardon me for having to go around here. I have to reconnect it. And now we are back at square one. The green LED is on to start the game. I press one. So actually just for the sake of being uh, just for the sake of being thorough, let's do another wire cut mode where I pull the wrong wire. And then I'll enter in uh, and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll wait for the timer to run out and you'll hear the siren. Let's just program it to 10 minutes. Actually, I've gone too far ahead. I have to press 1 first. No harm done. I press 1. Program wire. Program wire. Let's do wire 4. Ready clock. Our clock is already ready. I'll press the button again. I'll press 1 to start the game. System ready. Enter combination. So I'm going to pull wire 1. Enter combination. And it starts counting down 10 times as fast as you can see. So I'm going to actually hold the siren because it's very, very, um, it's very, very loud. Um, it shouldn't have said intercombination there. I'm going to comment that bit out right uh, in our software as soon as it's done. To turn it off, press one. Now, what you'll notice, what you may have noticed, if you actually, you can actually rewind if you want, is that uh, after the timer ran out and the siren turned on, the red LED turned on for five seconds and then turned off. During the time that that red LED is on, uh, you cannot disable the siren. The idea here was that you have that if, if the unit runs out of time, the siren is on for an absolute minimum of five seconds before you can disable it. And this is so that people can't immediately turn it off and pretend like they didn't lose. Um, this is just a common function that I've added in for most of my Betty products. But in any case, what I have to do to reset the system is plug in the wire again. And, uh, and I'm going to give you another demonstration. I'm just going to skip ahead. Let's say that on a, I, I want to change my... Uh, my deactivation code from star number one one to something else on a per game basis. What I have to do is I press and hold the one button during power up. Enter program mode. Enter combination. Two one two one. Code programmed. Program wire. Program wire. Let's disable wire cut mode by pressing star. Ready clock. So by doing that, by doing that, pulling wires any wire during gameplay doesn't make a lick of difference. It's completely disabled, completely, um, it's completely, completely gone, but only on a per game basis. So I'll ready my clock. Forty minutes. System ready. Enter combination. So let's do two one, two one. 
The system deactivated. And it will reset. Let's do one more example. We'll start the game. Program wire. Um, wire one. Ready clock. We'll set it to 200 seconds. Or, sorry, not 200 seconds, two minutes. System ready. Enter combination. Now, I don't think I've shown this. This is one of the basic functions. Uh, if you enter in the incorrect combination, Incorrect combination. Enter combination. System deactivated. You'll notice that, of course, the uh, the counted timer starts going down ten times as fast. So again, there's three ways where you can tamper with this that will cause the countdown timer to start falling very fast, and that's pulling the wrong wire when you when you haven't deactivated when you've actually chosen a wire and not haven't deactivated wire cut mode, entering in the wrong combination, or shaking the timer board. Now, you can disable the vibration function if you'd like, just by pulling this jumper. Pulling this jumper off disables the vibra uh, vibration mode. Just pull it off, save it, put it in your pocket, put it somewhere safe actually. And then when you want to reapply it, if you ever want to reapply it, just simply pop that jumper right back on top. So there will be a lot more information uh, in the listing. This video is just supposed to give you an idea of how simple this is to work. Um, I can also do a little bit of... Uh, customization for uh, a, a small fee to the timer if you want to be able to choose between say uh, fixed games like 60 minutes 45 minutes or choose between two I can't accommodate that for a small charge I just have to custom it customize it for your specific needs so lastly everything comes assembled everything you see here it comes also with two keys a stereo to stereo connector uh, a siren which you plug in right here and a, uh, a 9 volt AC to DC well adapter that is rated for, uh, that, that's compatible with uh, America and overseas because it's 50 or 60 hertz, uh, 120 to 240 volts AC in. A nice 9 volts DC 1 amp out. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, um, to contact us through engineeringshock.com or paintballprops.com. Send us an email at, at uh, engineeringshock at hotmail.com if you'd like. Comment here. Uh, this is, again, a redesign for an escape room, and I'll have it up at paintballprops and engineeringshock.com very soon. Thanks for watching.